How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 called Little Land. And as always, we're going to start with the description and it reads, Welcome to Europe. It is a fictional map inspired by the territories of Germany and the Czech Republic. On this map you will find 1 farm, 55 purchasable areas, 50 fields, 10 productions, 4 sale outlet, 20 collectibles, 4 forests, traffic, BGA, water intake in the river, animal dealer, liming station, gas station. I hope you enjoy the map. I wish you have a nice game. This map was created by Fudzo and is 282.27 megabytes to download. There are no required mods for this map. and Let's check out what the map looks like. This is the map and we start here. Just uh, almost center of the map. Uh, kind of right in the middle of town actually and what do we own we own this farmland number 11 which includes fields 28 we do start with a couple of animal pens there are contracts available on this map we do not start out with any productions there are collectibles 20 of them as the description read and there are no unique mods with the exception of if we look under landscaping and painting we do get several additional painting swatches so where do we start like i said we're about dead center of the map and we are right across from this first production point now this is going to be a little hectic because we're going to be walking to a lot of the places at first this is the and i'm going to butcher this the Leech Tea Chocolatier. For $50,000 you can purchase this production point. Come around the outside here. And some of this I believe is French. Hence a uh, reason why I'm going to butcher a lot of these. This is the Fromage de Lune Cheese Dairy. For $50,000 you can own this production point. I'm pretty sure I know what fromage means. I think it's cheese in French. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Hop the fence over here. And we're in the store parking lot. This is the shop menu and the repair trigger. We then come back out here up this fence around these buildings to over here and here we have the lime station buy point right there and over here we have the animal dealer where we can purchase animals or load into trailers uh, if we have the pens available which we start out with a couple already so not too shabby we come out of there run across this field here like I said it's a little bit crazy I'm not sticking to a lot of main roads right off the bat it's because a lot of running to do directly in front of us is the gas station we can refuel our vehicles right there run back in this direction and I think it's over here we want do, 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 do. No, I think it's... Yeah, I think we go all the way to the end first. I think that's the order I did it in. Yes, it is. This is the bakery. Purchase this for $50,000. Make your breads and cakes. And then run out to here. Go back behind this building. And over here is the dairy. You can purchase this for $70,000. And then again behind that is another production point. Whew, this is the spinnery. You can purchase that for $60,000. Now over here, run beside the church. And across the street over here. And this right across the street is our starting farm open the gate nope open the gate takes it just a second 
Whew. All right, let's take a look at where we've been and what we've seen so far. That was a lot of running on foot. So, looking back at the map, we started right here, uh, right across the street from the Liche Chocolatier. Ran in there, ran outside, and checked out the Fromage de Luna Cheese Dairy, right back there. Ran across the way to this vehicle shop and repair trigger. Ran over here to see the lime station and the animal dealer. Ran across this field to get to the gas station. Ran down the street, all over to here, to the bakery, back here to the dairy, and back here to the spinnery. Now, as you can see, there are parts of this map that are really, really congested, which means that it's going to be conducive to small equipment. So keep that in mind. If this is the kind of map for you where you want to play uh, with the smaller equipment, then hey, this this is just your map. <clears throat> Off to the right here, we do have a water by point. Uh, we can also gather water from the river, like it said there in the instructions or in the description. We have our sleep trigger right here, and if we open the door for the garage, you have a wardrobe trigger right there next to your truck. And back here, we have a cow pasture. In this cow pasture, we can hold up to 15 cows. A lot of our starting equipment right here, including a couple of our tractors. We open this fence here. Takes it a second. We have a chicken pasture right here where we can have up to 30 chickens. And behind us, we have our silo as well as a silage clamp. And let's take a look at some of our starting equipment and what we start out with. So we go to our menu here. Under small tractors, we have the Zader uh, Forterra HSX120. And under medium tractors, the John Deere 7810. Under harvesters, we have the Deutzfar Top Liner 4090H. Under cars, we have the Lizard 2017 pickup. Trailers, the Welger DK115. We have the header for the Deutzfar. Plows, we have the Agromaz POV 5XL. Cultivators, we have the Amazon Senio 4000 Super. Under seeders, the Nordstein HK20 plus NS3030. Sprayers, the Hardy Mega 1200L. Fertilizer spreaders, we have the Amazon ZATS3200. Under animal, animals, we have the Joskin Aquachance 7300S water trailer. The header trailer for the header for the Deutzfar. And under weights, the John Deere Pickup 900. Whew! All in all, it takes up 1,192 slots out of 4,400. Again, that's new generation consoles. Old gen, I believe, is half the 4,400, so 2,200. And from there, we're going to hop into our truck. I just need to scroll my notes down real quick. Perfect. So from here, we're going to leave our farm. Again, very, very narrow roads, very narrow lanes. So you're going to have to, you know, play accordingly. You're not going to want some big old massive harvesters and tractors and all this stuff. You're going to want stuff that can fit in the area and kind of hold to the aesthetics as well. So around the corner here, ooh, I was wondering if that was going to open. Straight ahead is the... GCHB Grain Elevator Cell Point. Come here, turn around, and we have to backtrack ever so slightly. And go down the lane again. Go across the river and right across the street here. In the back is the grocery mart cell point. And I actually just realized I kind of did this out of order. I meant to go this direction. 
meant to come here first, to the BGA. And the BGA here is, it's not, it's not that bad. I mean, you know, some BGAs, 500,000, no, no, this one, just $1.62 million. Whoo, that's an expensive piece of uh, production right there. But you do get a couple silage clamps over here. You've got your solid inputs right there. You've got a biomethane charge point right there. You've got your, I believe that's your digestate output right there. And over here is your input for your liquids. And, oh, there it is. Right there is an electrical charge point. So you do get out uh, all, the, all the pieces of equipment to be able to charge and refuel. Then we were supposed to go to the grocery mart. Then we were supposed to come right here to the next production point. This is the carpentry cell point. No, production point. You can purchase this for $60,000. From there, we go all the way out this way. Again, the roads are very, very narrow. You're not going to be able to fit big, large equipment down them. But you can see just how, compared to this truck, and this truck is not that large. So you get a, even a large, medium-sized tractor, and you're going to be struggling getting down the road. Back here is Johnson's Farmer's Market. You got the grain on the right and the solid containers on the left. Out here, back in here, this is the great processing unit. You purchase this for $80,000. Now let's go straight. And then turn around. So we gotta pull right back in over here to this. This is the point of sale at John's. That's what it's called. Now let's take a look at the map and kind of show where we've been. We were here at our farm. Shot up all the way up to here and took in the GCHB grain elevator. Came back down this side road down here to this section here. We accidentally took in the gra uh, grocery mart here. Came back out. We saw the electrical charge point, the biogas plant, as well as the biomethane station. Came back out, took in the carpentry. Drove all the way down here, up to here. We saw the Johnson's Farmer's Market, the great processing unit, and now we are here, like I said, point of sale at John's. Now we come up here. This is the point of selling straw. Over here is the debris crusher take your stone and sell them right out now right here is the sawmill which can be purchased for a hundred thousand dollars you've got all your various inputs and outputs okay so we can't get out that way you got your wood chips right back there And then right here you got your oil mill. Can be purchased for eighty thousand dollars. And then lastly right up here. Through this very, very narrow entryway. You've got your grain mill. You can put in over here, take out over here. Now you don't have to go in through that narrow entryway. You can come in through the side here. I just like going in there because it's kind of cool. 
But that is the map. That is Little Land. Now is the time for the grading portion. Standard 0 to 5 scale. What do I think of this map? Well, I like it. I really like it. Even though it's a small map uh, for smaller equipment, I really like it. Now, the one kind of complaint that I do have, if I pull out here, look at this. You got all this custom, you know, custom made, you know, production points, sell points, another sell point. All this is unique to this map. You're not going to see this in too many other places. And pow, right here you see a standard production point from giants you see the oil mill which i mean quite honestly it just looks like it just really stands out of place you got this like modern industrial style building right next to this old rustic sawmill and kind of run down dilapidated you know sales for bales you've got this kind of older run down rusted area for john like and then you got the new building from giants this I mean, again, this is still even, like, kind of dirty and dusky kind of look. I don't know. That's probably my only complaint is just there's too much, like, you put in all this effort to you make these unique custom uh, buildings and kind of kind of things. And all of a sudden, just boop, right there, right next to, you know, a standard. At least I, I think these are unique. I don't think I've ever seen these before. I could be wrong, and please prove you know tell me if I'm wrong. But oh, that's that's just an issue I take play I take something I take issue with. Um, other than that, I love the kind of sweeping undulations of the fields. Um, there's definitely going to be some difficulty with you know getting your equipment to and from places, and it's still having the power necessary to be able to get up and down these hills and around all the areas they need to get around because you know you've got a couple of pretty large hills in certain places it's just it's just one of those that you kind of have to uh you know really put some thought in you're going to want something small but powerful um so yeah it's just something you got to put it and put into it but yeah and uh out of zero to five i'd probably say three and a half i would give this a three and a half uh really like this map and it definitely has a lot of potential um, maybe in a later update we can see some of these kind of standard Giants productions, maybe get some TLC and made into more custom, uh, unique things that will kind of blend in more with the kind of surrounding areas, uh, and really make this kind of a unique on its own map. I mean, look at this. This is a cool model right here with the kind of, uh, I, I assume that would kind of be like a copper, uh, kind of roof to get that kind of teal. That kind of aged copper. I just guess. But, uh, but yeah, no, I think this is, this is fantastic. This is an excellent looking map. There's a lot of, a lot of potential to it. But, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows that you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.